you know, you, you bring up Austin. I, I feel like I've got to bring this up several years ago to promote the new WWE 2k video game. They did a promotion where Austin is sitting down, having a conversation with at the time, WWF for WWE champion, CM Punk. Yeah. And I conducted, I conducted that interview actually. So chat me up, you know, that everybody was a buzz. Hey, does this mean that, you know, Austin may be coming back or we, is there a chance we might get to see this Is something going to happen? What do you remember? Was there anything like that ever discussed? Uh, well, casually, you know, get anything to get Austin back in a ring in that era was, was going to be experimented with or suggested or whatever, because he was the golden boy and he was the one, he was the, the Mac daddy, the, the lead dog and the, all that other cliches. Uh, I remember doing that interview, <clears throat> uh, and Paul Heyman, uh, produced it. I there, I interviewed punk in Austin and we had no rehearsal. We had no script. We had bullet points as to what we needed to try to, uh, intertwine in our, in our presentation. And those two guys, I mean, I, I was like the point guard. All I did was give them the ball. Uh, so I can't, I'm not going to take any credit or, or break my arm, patting myself on the back for the interview. I was glad to be a part of it, but they had as good, uh, an, an inaugural chemistry as just about anybody I can recall. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, if Austin and punk had gotten the ring together, they would have produced masterpieces. They had the same basic philosophy of reality based pro wrestling and to be natural extensions of their own personality. They're all on the same page with all that stuff. And both Steve, uh, and uh, punk were great wrestling fans as you know, as a, a kid. So they, they were, they were lifers. So I would, I would have salivated to see that match and more, even more so to call it. It just wasn't in the cards because Steve's health, but, but man, oh man, that was some of the most fun television that I had been a part of in a long, long time. Thanks to two uh, K and Bryce Yang and all those guys putting that together. Heyman was, like I said, was, was there producing, uh, it was a real cool moment for me to be a part of, but again, it just shows if people go back, people go back and look it up, uh, go back and find that Austin punk interview. If you haven't seen it, folks, it's kind of, it was kind of obscure in a lot of ways. So we didn't, it didn't get mainstream, uh, uh, you know, it didn't get main, it, well, it didn't make raw for let's say. It didn't get mainstream coverage, but God dang, man, it was, it was scary. Good. It was almost, you would think because how it came off Conrad, that we had gone over it. We'd rehearsed the day before and you know, and then the next day we'd come back and get, you know, do it for real. No, nope, no way, baby. We just, here's some bullet points. Here's, here's your cameras and we'll count you in and go and have at it. So it was, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day of production. It's sort of fun to armchair quarterback and, and fantasy book the territory, so to speak. How do you think punk would have fit in, in the attitude era of the WWF? Oh. Peanut butter and jelly, baby. JR's barbecue sauce. And those good old ribs hand in glove. Every other, every other analogy one could come up with. He'd have fit perfectly. He would have fit as good as anybody that we had on the roster in the attitude era, because he was attitudinal for real. And the, you know, the nice thing about him one time I was talking, he's a very competitive guy. So he, th there's no doubt, no reason to be, uh, to be surprised at how good his promos were because he wanted to be the best he could be. And, uh, he was really devoted into being the best in the, in his profession. Uh, so I think that, uh, I think that the son of a gun is just, he would have been perfect in the attitude era. And there we could have got, we could have got to see that Austin and punk match. That would have made the attitude era even better. Uh, but he would fit perfect with Conrad. He's just, he's almost too perfect a fit in the attitude era because he just, it's like it was created for him. Cause he was genuinely attitudinal and, uh, that's what got him over. I think his attitude, 